Why the f have you not played Risk of Rain 2 yet? What started off many years ago was a pixel roguelike. Ro roguelike? Rogue roguelike? What the fuck? What the fuck is it called? What started off as a 2D platformer about fighting aliens almost 10 years ago has changed immensely, while still keeping its core concept at heart. See, in Risk of Rain, everything starts out easy, but then Risk of Rain starts laughing at you, calling you a little bitch for trying to play it. So then Risk of Rain starts throwing fuckers all over the place in all different sizes and elements until you eventually die. Pretty neat if you ask me. You crash into a foreign planet and just start running around like a child in an abandoned Toys R Us. You scrape together the pocket change out of your fallen enemies and grab anything you can. Like ukuleles, to make your attacks shock other enemies with the power of music. Or, you know, you can jack yourself up with some used needles to attack faster. I don't know, however you want to play. You can play as an array of characters. Basic man. Archer lady. Nerd. Neckbeard. Magic man. Audrey 2, Attack on Titan Fandom, and Space Dog, combining their abilities with the aforementioned items and pray that you get the best items for your character, because everything in this game is RNG. The game does have a couple of bugs that can occur every now and then. Sometimes you fall through floors, sometimes you live when you shouldn't, or you spawn into the endless void, leaving you with nothing but your thoughts and the fear of solitude. There isn't much of a story yet. The only ending we kind of have is making it to the sacred rooms where you are graced with the once in a lifetime opportunity to end your life on your terms. And that's really about it. But you don't play Risk of Rain for the story. No, no, no. You play it for this. The gameplay is incredibly fluid and intuitive, making it very easy to pick up and even has different difficulties for you normies out there. You know who you are. Now every round starts off fairly easy anyways, but after about 30 minutes, the game starts to ramp up the difficulty. You can have a casual, good time joking with your friends, and suddenly everyone is panicking trying to fend for themselves as they run away from 200 different enemies. Oh, <laughs> did I not mention the best part? You can invite up to three friends to tag along and venture out together. But it does make the game harder, since enemies will have more health, and someone always becomes a scum fuck bastard who takes all the loot instead of helping clear the level! Real talk? This game is a fucking gem. The fluid 3D action works much better than the original game, and it allows you to go absolutely berserk as you traverse the maps. I honestly forget to blink when playing this game as it really forces you to pay attention to each enemy, as anything overlooked could be your downfall. The soundtrack also does some real work getting you pumped up while you play. Chris Chris Totalu, oh shit, fuck me, sorry if I messed up the name, he did an amazing job here. Starting off with a mysterious, slow synth track to encourage this alien feel once you start the game to this absolute ape shit heavy metal track when you get about 30 minutes in. Visually, everything is well done. The aliens you fight are simplistic, but fun. They all have some kind of cue that shows the attack that is coming your way, making the game fair, but still incredibly difficult once you get swarmed as well as color differences to show elements. But the worlds themselves are the biggest takeaway here. Each one has something tucked away into every corner, making the player really explore everything to make sure you get all the loot. And plus, they are just a blast to run around in. It's a goddamn jungle gym of fun. Look, if you haven't played Risk of Rain 2 yet, stop whatever the fuck you're doing and go play it. It's only a third of the price of other AAA games, so skip the next Call of Duty game, gather up some friends, and just have a good time seeing how long you can survive. Just play the fucking game already, man!